what we're going to do here is upload these discrete jobs. You'll see I've got some defaults and the statuses there of unreleased, and I'm saying it's come from more fraps. These are the assemblies, the quantities I'm going to load, and across to the right here we've got the job start date, and we've also got the completion sub inventory, etc. as well. I'm simply going to show user form here, so you can actually add additional data via the user form. And here we're going to look at the job details. We change the assembly, we can change the job status via this form. You don't have to use this form, uh, you can just do it in Excel as well. Here you can see we've got the calendar option. And you can change things like the class. So we're talking to Oracle to get these data values back. And you can see that record's now validated. So we could do an upload of everything here. In this case here, the data is all correct and valid. We then call the Oracle interface. And that's been successful. We can now refresh the data to see if that data is loaded. And as you can see here, these jobs have been accepted. It's that easy.